a mega container vessel that makes big look too small. A floating giant that only India's largest mega port can handle. Mega Structures Mundra Port, Saturday 7 p.m. India has a coastline of over 8,000 kilometers with nearly 200 ports, out of which 13 are major ports which handle nearly 75% of the total cargo traffic. Berth number eight, where the ship is headed, is a tricky waterway to negotiate. The pilot has to keep at the center of this extremely narrow channel. If he drifts too much to the left, he'll face shallow waters and could run aground. Too much to the right, and he'll collide with another ship already berthed. So he has to come straight, stop before where the tugs are berthed, and then, with the help of the tugs, park it at the berth. At 300 meters, she is longer than four jumbo jets placed tail to tail. Power plant, unlocking power. There are 31 countries that have about 430 commercial nuclear reactors. India has 21 nuclear reactors that are operational, which are run by the Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited, or the NPCIL. Narapur is India's most iconic nuclear plant. When the first two nuclear reactors came up in Tarapur way back in 1969, it was an historic event. It was a long journey for the nuclear equipment, which were transported all the way from foreign shores. An agreement had been signed in 1964 between General Electric USA and India to set up the plant. Nuclear electricity is produced by the splitting of uranium atoms to release energy. When a neutron hits a uranium atom, it becomes weak and unstable and breaks down into smaller atoms, releasing more neutrons and energy. This fission chain reaction releases heat, which is eventually harnessed to produce electricity. The pellets are then loaded into these metal fuel rods, which are grouped together to form a power packed bundle. Each of these bundles weighs about 24 kilos. Hundreds of fuel bundles are inserted into a giant cylindrical vessel called the Calandria. That is the heart of the nuclear reactor. When a neutron bombards uranium, it causes the uranium atom to split into two smaller atoms with the release of large amounts of energy. So fission creates heat that is used to convert water into steam. The steam then turns huge turbines that drive generators that make electricity. While nu Since refueling happens at the core of the nuclear reactor, Robotic machines that function as arms push the new fuel bundles into the slots in the calendria so that they can undergo nuclear fission. And on the opposite side, a similar robotic arm takes out the spent fuel bundle. Nuclear power without the word radiation following it. Now we've all used this word often enough, but without completely understanding what it actually means. So what does radiation exactly mean? The universe is made up of particles. Some particles release excess energy. This excess energy released in the form of electromagnetic waves is called radiation. We live in a radioactive world. We are exposed to radiation from the sun, from outer space, from the earth, or even the food and drink we consume. In fact, you may be exposed to more radiation eating a banana, taking an x-ray, or a round trip to New York than you would if you lived an entire year near a nuclear power plant. On a defense in depth philosophy, which essentially means that there are multiple barriers in place to prevent disasters. It starts with the uranium, which is in ceramic pellet form. These are encased in sealed zirconium alloy tubes to form fuel rods, which in turn are confined within a steel pressure vessel. Finally, this is enclosed in a containment structure with walls nearly two meters thick. The walls of this dome are fortified to ensure that no radioactivity escapes from the inside. Apart from its thickness, there is a second layer of wall with negative pressure between the two walls so that in case of a leak, the pressure from the outside prevents the inside radioactive air from leaking out. 
the past few years have found their resting place in this huge pool, more than 30 feet deep, filled with demineralized water. When a fuel bundle is removed, it emits heat and radiation. So to cool the bundle and shield the radiation, it is kept in this pool of water called the spent fuel storage bay. The minimum cooling period is four years, after which they may be sent for reprocessing. Stage one, natural uranium is used as fuel to generate electricity. In addition, plutonium-239 gets generated. In stage two, plutonium-239 with thorium will be used as fuel to generate electricity. In addition, U-233 will be generated. In stage three, uranium-233 with thorium will be used as fuel to produce power as well as more uranium-233. off from Kathmandu it was meant to reach New Delhi but as All along the route, all of the officially recorded utilities lay about two meters below the surface. But there were hundreds more lying deeper. These were gas lines, water lines, telephone lines that hadn't been tracked or recorded by any agency. So you can imagine the shock when they were discovered. The ATP also ensures that the doors open at the correct point. If the train overshoots the stopping point by 300 millimeters, the doors will simply not open. Ensure safety, a high system called the ATP or Automatic Train Protection is programmed so that every train maintains a minimum distance from the next. If a train crosses the safety margin or crosses its speed level, the emergency brakes are applied. There is absolutely no chance of collision. Adani Group, where made us India's largest importer of coal, as mine developers and operators across different states of India. We have ports at Mundra, Tuna Tekara near Kandla, the Hedge Hazira, Murmagao in the west coast, Dhamra Vishakapatnam in the east coast, and Kattupalli Ennor in the south coast of India. While a container transshipment terminal is also coming up in Rinyam, Kerala, via our joint venture with Wilmar, Singapore has reached a million homes. To plug strategy. Adani Transmission has laid over 5,000 kilometers of transmission lines in India. Our Kamuti solar plant in Tamil Nadu generates 648 megawatts of clean and green electricity of empowering India. In over 25 years, we have grown to be a company that goes beyond business. A company for which each day, each step, is about building a nation with utmost speed, size, and scale. And we walk shoulder to shoulder towards a reality of equality and prosperity for all. And one of the reasons why we chose China was because one of the factories that we found, it was a WHO approved. A world record. Have been reported in the last 24 hours alone. This is the highest uh, number of cases that have been reported in the country. Over 40 countries, including the US, UK, Russia, Singapore, rushed to our aid. 
the Indian Air Force does non-stop sorties. Warships bring oxygen plants from abroad and special oxygen trains are pushed into service. At the start of the year, large-scale celebratory events took place. Nucleic acid uh, for its genetic code. I would describe it as a necklace made up of almost 30,000 beads. And the 30,000 beads comprise of four main colors. And for its genetic code, the beads come in a pre-ordered sequence. And when it is multiplying very rapidly, sometimes errors come in the order of those beads. So those changes are known as mutations. It could also spread from one organ to another organ. In this case, the beads. population of sea cucumbers in the waters surrounding these 36 islands is under threat. The warm waters around the southern coast of India are home to at least 200 species of sea cucumbers. 24 countries have imposed moratoria or temporary bans on fishing. Among them, Australia, Venezuela, Papua New Guinea, Ecuador and India. Under India's Wildlife Protection Act, sea cucumbers are Schedule 1 species. Other protected animals include the rhinoceros and tiger. So poaching is a serious offence, punishable by fines and imprisonment. Have a sea cucumber that is illegally caught in Indian waters, smuggled into Sri Lanka to enter markets in Southeast Asia legally. But at this point, it's now seemingly a legal product because it's been laundered through the Sri Lankan sea cucumber. In Singapore, Vietnam, and in Chinese communities in the United States. There was a trade between Japanese and Chinese. Sea cucumber was one of the prize that uh, the people from Okinawa, they give to the emperor in China as a blessing. So, sea cucumber have a long history in the... Two deadly gang wars in Mexico and the east coast of Africa. And in Japan, Yakuza gangsters are vying to control the illegal trade. And the island of Sri Lanka. So I was really disappointed, really sad. I've cried in my bathroom for days. I didn't know what to do. Every action that we did, every player that we chose, every move that we made just went wrong. Nobody likes to lose, and uh, nobody likes to lose repeatedly. At the end, everything will be all right. If it's not all right, it's not the end yet. Living with KKR, 24th to 27th February, every night at 8 on the Discovery Channel. For a reminder of this program, SMS Discovery Channel Space KKR to 56161.